Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarita Lenore and if you guys are new, what is up? I hope you guys are excited as I am to be telling you some cool tips and tricks about flying fact. So I am a plus size woman, girl, female, whatever you want to call me. And you know, when I was a little bit younger and trust me, I've actually been oversized, overweight my whole entire life. But when I first started flying, when I was about 18, I wish I knew these tips and tricks ahead of time to help ease the process of going to an airport or even flying. So if you wanna know some tips and tricks on how to fly fat, then keep on watching. So for starters, I feel like a lot of people who are oversized, obese, morbidly obese, whatever it may be, whatever your health is, but you're outside of the normal or thin range, I feel that flying or you know being on certain transportation can be embarrassing or you might feel embarrassed, but I hope these tips and tricks can help you feel less embarrassed about your size and know that, hey, you're still human, you still have the right to take these types of transportation, and hey, you might need additional help and assistance, and that is okay. So starting off with tip number one, which is to prepare yourself ahead of time and know what type of traveler you are, because then all the other tips will be a little bit easier for you to identify what choices to make. Um, now for myself, I'm a people pleaser. I don't mind being uncomfortable. Um, I wanna make sure other people are feel feeling comfortable and um, okay about my size. Uh, just being aware like, hey, you are a little bit extra in size and that's okay. Just make sure other people are not uncomfortable in their seat that they paid for as well. So just prepare your mind, prepare your body, prepare yourself ahead of time can really make the world go round. Tip number two, which is find your perfect seat. So this really is helpful because they tell you dimensions online. So you kind of already know what type of dimensions you are. You can measure yourself. You can make sure you know what seat is going to be comfortable for you. Sometimes on smaller airlines that I know are going to be a little bit more packed than normal, I'll choose Comfort Plus if I'm flying Delta or any other similar seating arrangement for any other airline. Normally I do fly Delta, but I know that Southwest Airlines does have some accommodations for people who are bigger size or need some more accommodations who actually might need even two sizes. I know this goes for people in Canada as well, where some airlines will give you two seats, one for free and one you just have to pay for to help accommodate to your size because you have the right to travel as well, just like anybody else. It's just, you know, you just have something going on that, hey, might get in the way of flying, but there's a lot of airlines out there who will wanna help accommodate to you. Now for the ones that don't, you know, don't be ashamed to buy a bigger seat if you can, that is okay. Now, if you don't and you need to get to flights really quickly and you can still kind of fit in the normal sizes or the normal seats or the general seats that they have, be aware of where your seat is placed. So most of the time they come in three. So A, B, C, D, E, F, right? Most airlines come in that way. So for myself, since I am a little bit overweight, or well more overweight, whatever, I'm trying to be, <laughs> trying to be casual on that. Um, I like to choose the seat closest to the window. This is because like I mentioned before, I'm a people pleaser. So I don't wanna get up and bother people or have to move around or shuffle or get things. So I will stay put for most of the airline sleeping, watching TV, eating snacks in my corner. I like the corner away from everybody. I don't wanna bother people. So, and I don't honestly want them to bother me. So I will sit closest to the window. Now you may not be that type of person and you may pee frequently. If you are, then just recommend sitting on the aisle seat. This will help you not have to shuffle past people. This will allow you to, you know, get up for others and accommodate other people. That's okay if you're up to that. Um, but honestly, it will also maybe even give you some extra leg room if in the aisle, you know, once everybody is not using it or on certain occasions. Sometimes I choose that option if I know it's gonna be a longer flight. Um, but yeah, just be aware of your seating, look ahead of time, know the measurements, and also check out airlines who are willing to accommodate to your size because it's all about comfortability when you're flying and it is a luxury to fly. So don't take that for granted. You are putting money into it, so make sure you get what you want. So that's a really good tip. Tip number three is get a seatbelt extender. So I didn't know what this was ahead of time. 
I was embarrassed my first time flying and honestly the seat belt could not fit. I had a couple of inches to go and even when I sucked in, it still wouldn't go. But even if I did suck in and it did click, that would probably be the most uncomfortable thing on my stomach while on the full ride. That it's not worth it just get the seat extender this extender really helps you add some more room so honestly just get one it makes it so much easier and you're putting yourself in a very safe position now the first time i flew i did not ask for a seatbelt extender and i was putting my life and other people's lives in danger by putting myself in danger i could have hit myself if there was turbulence or something if a situation were to happen now of course that's one in a million or so i'm not sure the statistics on it but you never know it could be that airline that you're on and you don't want to be put in that situation and let's say if you are put in that situation where the airplane is going down i hope not knock on wood but you also don't want to be the one person flying everywhere and hitting people in the head with your foot kicking people hitting. you know you're going literally going to be like this you don't want to be like that on the airplane so just get your seatbelt extender okay it's easy peasy lemon squeezy but yes it can be embarrassing like i mentioned so here are a couple steps to help you get get it going first step ask the airline agent or the people who are assisting on your flight ask them upon entering your airplane really easy they have them there already out on some airlines on some airlines they do not have them out and they might just give it to you while you're already seated or you know they might be walking around and handing to you at some point in time before the flight takes off but asking them right at the door when they're greeting you being like hey have a great flight or welcome or anything like that just ask them right then and there most of the time they have it on hand and they're happy to give it to you because they also want you to be safe as well the second step is if you are a little bit more embarrassed of that and you have social anxiety which is a natural thing and you don't want other people around you and you feel like you're holding up a line which i can totally relate to is asking them while at the gate before you guys even start the loading of the plane most of the time a lot of planes are already cleaning the flight because it just returned from another flight ask your gate attendant if they're able to go ahead and put a seat extender on your seat and give them your seat number this will help a ton and avoid any uncomfortability if you may have any or any embarrassment so honestly asking your agent is a key thing to do but this also goes for tip number two which is know your seat or have the perfect seat if you need additional time to sit down or get yourself comfortable just let a gate agent know they will allow you to go on and allow you that additional time if you need it tip number four is stretch ahead of your flight as a plus size girl trust me it is hard to get your limbs and blood flowing especially on a flight where you're seated for a very long time think about work if you're at work and you're sitting in front of a computer or you're sitting down for long periods of time they tell you to stretch they tell you to get up they tell you to go for a walk because it helps your muscles it helps your blood flow and it helps honestly your legs not fall asleep and cause other health issues the same goes for being on an airplane especially for us overweight people we have a lot going on and sometimes we may not feel comfortable on an airplane for a very long time especially seated so i would say stretch before you get on the plane it will really do you some good just sit there on the floor most of the time there's not even seats available anyways to sit down and i'm sure because of like covid they're not even allowing you to sit six feet apart comfortably so lay down or stretch on the floor walk around the you know your gate anything that will literally make you comfortable um, a second thing that kind of is in line with that is get some type of compression garments or socks this will really force your body while you're sitting down to have a good blood flow so your limbs don't go numb the fifth tip for flying fat is go to the bathroom as well ahead of time um you know it's just easier i feel like this also can relate to anybody just go to the restroom ahead of time um it really helps also the bathrooms are really small on an airplane so it might be really uncomfortable getting in getting out and also moving around while the plane is in flight i've had so many panicky moments in one of those claustrophobic bathrooms because your girl is big and she could not fit that comfortably in the bathroom like i would sit down and i wouldn't have enough space to like you know put my like legs open it's kind of weird especially if i like wiped <laughs> you know i maybe have to 
stand up and wipe, which I don't normally do. Some people do. Um, but normally I wipe while sitting down and I know this is a TMI situation, but being fat and plus size, you have these issues. You need your legs to be open a little bit more. And I couldn't really do that. So be aware that the bathrooms are small. So if you do want additional space, go to the restroom ahead of time. It will make it much easier. Now, the last steps that I'm going to say are mainly tips about general flight in general for anybody. This can be for plus size people, non plus size people. It is just something I always live by. So I'm going to go ahead and run through them. I have my list here. So the first one of this category is stay hydrated. Get your water is really dehydrating up in the air. You are closer to the sun. You are at a different point in the atmosphere. So you will get a little bit more dehydrated up there. If you do get dehydrated quickly, they do sell hydration packs that you can add into water. So I'll put pictures up here just to show you a couple of types of hydration packs that they have out there. I always love bringing those while I travel because I do get dehydrated, which will also in turn give you less energy and maybe not be so fun at your destination, especially if you're going on vacation or to go explore. You might not be able to do that immediately after your flight. So just drink a lot of water, stay hydrated, get your electrolytes, especially since it's very dehydrating up in the air. The second one about this is sunscreen. This is very important. So if you do not put sunscreen on daily, which you should, you should put it on. Them UV rays will give you cancer. There are so many statistics on it. So just be safe about this is definitely wear your sunscreen, especially, I cannot stress this enough, especially in the air. UV rays are exposed to you way more in an airplane than down here on earth on the ground. So keep that in mind. And if you guys do not believe me and you guys are not taking the sunscreen seriously, I will read you Google. Yes, I have it ready because I'm that bitch. So let me read it to you. It says up in the air, you are exposed to more UV rays. As you soar to a cruising altitude, you are also flying closer to the ozone layer by about 20,000 feet. According to Dr. Dennis Gross, that means the sun's rays are even more damaging to the skin when you're on the plane than the ground. So take it as you want, but yes, please wear your sunscreen. Also use moisturizer, chapstick, lotions to also keep your skin very hydrated while up in the sky because like I mentioned before, it will be very drying up in that plane. So the last one is wear your deodorant. Personal hygiene is a must when you're going on a plane. You are so close to people. Maybe I can't stress this enough, but this goes for everyone, not just fat people, okay? Let me get this clear. There is a stigma about fat people that say that fat people smell more because they have more on them. That could be true for some, but not everyone smells bad that is fat, I will be honest. I will attest to that. Your girl smells great. I'm always refreshed. I always feel good. I always smell good. I always look good. So that's not the case. Out of me and my boyfriend, my boyfriend is more normal size. I am more plus size, obese, whatever you want to name it. And he sweats way more than I would. <laughs> Um, so just make sure you're being aware of other people on that plane because girl, you do not want to be having them smelly armpits, lifting up to grab your luggage and be passed out because of the, you whiffed something strong. <laughs> you don't want to ever do that or have that been done to you. So just be aware, wear your deodorant, be aware of other people and overall just have fun. You're going on a flight, you're going on a destination. Like I mentioned before, this is more of a luxury. Not everybody can afford to go on a plane. Not everybody has the opportunity to go on a plane. So hopefully these tips and tricks helped you and just made you feel more comfortable to go out there have fun and get on that plane and be comfortable as possible while on that plane. Um, so if any of these tips helped you and you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up. Also comment down below if I missed anything, if I missed a tip or trick that you normally do while on a plane um, that is relevant to your size or something that's really helpful to you or something that you do like a schedule or a routine, then please comment below so I can definitely read through that. And the last thing is go ahead and support your girl by hitting that subscribe button. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.